Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to go over the not function in Excel. Um, <clears throat> before we do that, go to ExcelVBASQL.com. There's almost 30 hours of free video that will teach you everything you need to know about Excel from the very be beginner stuff to the advanced stuff. Um, put your email in this box right here and you can receive an email when free videos go up and contact me over here when you have questions. So let's get started. So what we've been doing um, is if we go to the website, you could see we're building um, we're building up uh, our experience in Excel. From the, here's a basics if you you know the, the basics of Excel. Then we do the formulas in Excel, and then we introduce functions. And then just uh, the last set of videos we introduce logical functions, which look like this, right? So here we have some data in Excel, like names and um, let me unhide this. We have names and we have street, city, state, zip code, uh, email, phone, date, all kinds of data that you would see in the real world that if you if you had a job. And then we, we saw that there's things called logical functions, which, you know, I put a header over this. And here's all the logical functions like if statements and nested ifs. You can do things and and, and functions and or functions and so we've looked at those three logical functions so far, and those are really very frequently used. If you know how to do these logical functions, the if, the and, and the or functions, you're going to be uh, you're going to be very well ahead. Uh, you're going to you're going to going to have a lot of skills uh, in Excel because you can do a lot of complicated stuff. Uh, now we're just going to look at a, a more simple function that uh, doesn't do as much as these other ones, but it's it's good to know. So here, um, this function is the not function. And let's real quickly go to the formulas tab up here, go to logical, and let's look at this not and see what it is. So all this says is uh, you put in a logical value, true or false, and it changes that value, changes false to true, or changes true to false. And then it says this logical is a value or expression that can be evaluated true or false. So Logical, again, is an expression that can be evaluated true or false. So what we can do here is just to see what this not does. And again, this function is not used very frequently, but you might need to use it. So it's, it's good to know this stuff. Um, let, me, let me just do this. If I do equals, uh, equals, let's do that. Let's try this. One plus one. Okay, so that's a formula, right? That's equals 1 plus 1. But if I do equals not uh, 1 plus 1, well, actually, let me start here. So what it said in that <coughs> function wizard was if you pass in a logical value like true, true is a logical value, it's going to reverse it. So when I hit enter here, it should take true and then reverse it. And if we hit enter, it does that. So I, I wrote up here, I wrote not true and what's if it's not true then it's false right so this is a pretty straightforward function uh, should be easy to understand let me just hide these rows here so we can see this better okay now if I write something like not false then you know what's gonna happen right not false I get true it just reverses the logical value so now if you did something like this remember that um, Remember that in that function wizard, it said that that can be a logical value or an expression. So here, let's try an expression like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So what does this expression evaluate to, true or false? It should, you, know, you should know that this evaluates to true. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, so that's true. So what you're going to have here is a value that's true, but then you're going to put the not function around it. So this should return false. So if we hit enter, we get false. Um, now, if I do this, 1 plus 5 is equal to 2. That expression, you know, everything from here all the way to here, that's the expression, and that's false, right? Because 1 plus 5 doesn't equal 2. So this expression evaluates to false, and the not function around it, it's going to return the opposite of that. So if we hit enter, it should return true. So that's all the not function does, is that it takes it takes some logical value or expression and it reverses it. So if it's true, it makes it false. If it's false, it makes it true. Um, 
I don't think it's very widely used this this uh, function maybe I, I haven't used it too much but it's pretty simple to understand and what we could do is do a real-world example so let's say um, you want to find people who um, in this data because here's a bunch of data you want to find people let's take a look at this data that uh, do not live let's say they live in Illinois or okay so you want to find everyone in here that lives in any state except uh, Illinois and Texas so what we could do is do a not function to do this and we could do this if now we're gonna write an expression that evaluates the true um, we'll do this and this equals Illinois and then another expression uh, this equals TX so this is our expression um, this expression remember the and exp the and function returns a value uh, that is true or false that's what the and function does so this value here Actually, I should put an or. Um, what the or function returns a value that's true or false. So what this function here is going to return, this or function, if you live in Illinois or Texas, this is going to return true. Um, if you don't, it'll return false. And and if this returns true. If we put the not function around it, then it'll return false, right? So what we're doing here, if if we hit enter, uh, let me let me just hide these other columns here, so it's right next to each other. Uh, what we want here is people. Who do not live in Texas or Illinois and we can use the not function to find those people people who do not live in Texas or Illinois we want to find those people well we could do that here because um, this returns true so meaning true these people don't live in Illinois or Texas if I auto fill this down by clicking the lower that square in the lower right corner then um, I find a false here. This person lives in Illinois. I find another false here. This person lives in Illinois or, or Texas. I'm sorry. If I keep going down, there's another false. So what you see is that we have identified um, the people who don't live in Texas or Illinois. Um, now, like before, if we want this text to return something other than true or false, then you just put an if statement around it. Just put it if they they live in Illinois or Texas, then um, I'll put I don't care. Uh, what should I put? Uh, I'll put no need. I'll just put not a. I'll just put applicable not applicable. And if they are, then I'll put take a look. So all I want to do here is to, is to, instead of saying true or false, I can put an if statement around this that will return whatever I want, you know, expressions or letters or something. And actually, I need a... Let's see where we're... What's going on here? If there's my true, there's my false. Oh, actually, sorry. Um, 
I'm sort of messing this up because I forgot that the not, what's happening is I got a pound value error, and that is because this has to return a true or false. Um, it can't return a text, so I can't make whatever's inside here return text, like uh, take a look or something. I have to put that outside, so uh, I could put this. If not equals true, then uh, let's say that I'll just put one else is zero because I'll do something here. So let's say um, we're doing this for a reason. We want to find people who don't live in Texas or Illinois because their income tax is higher or something. Uh, so what we can do is, you know, there's this salary field over here. And let's say everyone who lives in Texas or Illinois has a uh, salary of, has an income tax of 10%. Uh, and everyone outside of Texas or Illinois has an income tax of, you know, 11% or something. So we could do something like this. Um, okay, if they don't live in Illinois or Texas, if that's true, then I want to take their. I want to take their salary, multiply it by. Point fifteen, and if they do live in Texas or Illinois, then I want to take their salary, multiply it by point one. So now we, we're getting what we want here. Um, if we look at this salary here, uh, so anyone who lives in Texas is 10% times salary, else 15% times salary. That's what we're calculating here. So in the real world, you might be need to you might need to calculate this. Your boss comes to you and says, "Everyone in Texas or Illinois, uh, their tax is ten uh, percent, and everyone in outside of Texas and Illinois is fifteen. And give me a column that that does that. So this does that. If we look at this person, they live in Idaho, and their salary is eighty thousand. So we take eighty thousand times fifteen percent." And we get 12000 And when we find someone who lives in Illinois or Texas, it's their salary times 10%. So that's what's going on here. You could see uh, what we're doing. First thing we do is we use the not function to uh, reverse, um, reverse this, reverse this statement. So do they live in Illinois or Texas? If that's true, uh, we make it false. That's what this does. This not is going to make that false. Now, why isn't this very widely used? I told you before that this is not a very widely used function. Well, it's because you don't really need to do this. You don't need to reverse this very often. Because you put a, you, if you put an if statement around something, then you can um, just, you know, what we can do is just take this out, this not, and now we could just change this to point one, uh, sorry, 10 percent, and change this to fifteen, and we'll get the same answer. So that's why it's really not widely used. This not not function because you can just reverse the order of your value of false, value of true. So notice if I hit enter here, I get the same answer. And if I if I drag this down, uh, right here is that one forty. I get the same answer. So the not function. It's really not used that often because most times you use if statements and you could just say if this is true, then do what's true, else if false. You don't really need to do a not function around it and say not uh, equal to false. I mean, you don't need to do that. It just, uh, 
it's kind of redundant to, to put a not function around this when you could just reverse the order of your value of true and value of false. So that's why the not function, I don't think it's really widely used, but in cases like, you know, equals not one plus one, I don't know, maybe, maybe you, uh, maybe you're going to use something like that. But in this case, I just wanted to give you an example of how it's used. So it just reverses whatever the, the expression or logical value is in parentheses. Uh, it has to return a true or false. That's important. If you're going to remember something from this video about the not function, remember that it returns true or false. Okay. That's all I wanted to show you about this function. Like I said, uh, it's, it's something you need to be aware of but it's it's not it's not very important so uh, I don't think it's very important but it's good to know and it's good practice that we did another you know we're doing more of these formulas and if you understand this formula and what it does uh, then I think you're on your way to understanding Microsoft Excel and, and you're gonna be a, a good Excel user uh, so just just a summary of this video what we wanted to do was find the people that lived in Texas or Illinois and multiply their salary by 10% and everybody else who doesn't live in Texas or Illinois gets their salary times 15% and we use a not function in this uh, formula with an if statement to do something like that one thing that we encountered was that we have to have this value return true or false you cannot try to put an if statement around here or anything like that uh, you have to put the if statement outside like we did to, to return uh, anything other than true or false like this. But then again, we notice that we don't really need the not function because we can just remove it and play around with our value of true, value of false. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. What I'm going to do is take this workbook and put it on Excel, VBA, SQL.com and notice what we're doing here again. I think this is, uh, this is a, a good exercise, is that we're going through all the functions and in every video we're, we're doing real world examples with uh, things you might encounter in the real world about how to get things done with if statements, if functions and functions, or functions, not functions, and we're going to continue. So um, keep watching the videos if you want to learn Excel and uh, I'll put the code on the website you can watch the videos you can download the code if you want the videos are free to watch email you know if you want to get an email when the videos go up put your email in here and contact me here contact me through the website so until the next video I will talk to you later bye